Okay, so today we're going to be making a capacitor bank charger. You need it to charge the capacitor bank that we made in our last video. Because so, you can't really do anything with it if you don't have a charger. So what you're going to need is an electric fly swatter. A capacitor bank, which you don't need if you're just going to use this to zap stuff with. Because you don't really need to charge the capacitor bank. You could just... It just makes big sparks and stuff. Two insulated alligator clips that will have one marked as positive. And the only tools you're going to need is a screwdriver. So now you're going to start unscrewing this. Okay, so now that I have it unscrewed, you got to take this off. And it looks like this comes off. And, and as you can see, I already took these wires off. But you got to make sure that they're connected still. So you can mark which side is positive. And then you're going to put the alligator clip that is marked as positive on the positive side, which for me it's the left side. And then you're going to put the alligator clip on that's not marked on the other side. So now that you have this, it's almost ready to charge. So now that you have it all unscrewed and the alligator clips on, you're going to want to put this back on. But you don't need that racket anymore, so you can screw this back on without the racket on. And then you're going to screw it back on. So now that you have all the screws and the batteries in, you pretty much have a stick that produces high voltage and pretty cool sparks. You don't have to continue with this video if you're just d using it to make sparks like this or connect it to things that need high voltage, but the rest of the video is going to be me hooking it up to the capacitors, showing you how to do it. Okay, so for this part of the video, we're going to be discharging the capacitor bank. And you're going to need two extra jumper cables to be the discharge wires. So first, I'm going to attach the positive side that's marked as positive onto the positive side of the capacitor bank, which is the side that doesn't have the stripes on it. And then, you're going to attach the other side onto the side that the other alligator clip isn't on, which is the positive side, or the negative side, sorry. And then, you're going to attach jumper cables. The polarity doesn't matter because it doesn't matter which way it's discharging. And then what you're going to do to charge it is you're going to hold down the button on here and the lo and the higher this is getting char that this is getting charged up the higher pitch of a sound that this will make. So I'll start charging it for 30 seconds. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That was pretty cool. So this time I'll go for 35 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So you could see that those were pretty big sparks. And I'll go on to the last part right now. Okay, so first, you need to make sure that you always keep your capacitor bank shorted out so it doesn't accumulate any charge and shock you the next time you pick it up. But now you know how to make a capacitor charger, a high voltage capacitor charger, that doesn't necessarily have to be a capacitor charge. You can just shock things with it, shock people with it. It does give you a jolt, but it's not dangerous. And so I hope you had fun with this and be safe. See you next time.